here are five things that you ought to know if you plan on getting Kim Kardashian rich someday. Number one, you should pay yourself first. What does that mean? That means of the wage you make, you should take the top 10 or 20 or 15%, whatever works for you, the more the better, and save it in an investment account or buy some real estate or buy some gold, but just don't spend it. Live below your means. That kind of goes along with number one. We're gonna save and invest first, and we're gonna pay our bills second, and then we're gonna have a little bit of self-control, and we're not gonna go out and spend all of our money on things that we don't necessarily need. That means we don't need to have the greatest cell phone. We don't need to go spend $5 at Starbucks every day. We don't need to go out on dates or extravagant weekends every single uh, month. We can limit these things and enjoy our life without spending all of our money. Number three, you wanna buy assets and get rid of liabilities. What's an asset? What's a liability? An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. Think of everything that can put money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. These shoes took money out of my pocket. They do not put money in my pocket. My airplane takes money out of my pocket if I'm not using it for business. If I am using it for business, it may put money in my pocket. My rental properties put money in my pocket. If somebody stops staying at my rental properties, now it becomes a liability. It takes money out of my pocket. Focus on the things that put money in your pocket. Acquire assets, dispense liabilities. Number four, consider the earning percent potential of your degree. If you have a major in Greek mythology, I'm sorry, it's probably not worth the investment of your time or your money to pursue that degree because what are you gonna do with it? Nothing. If you're gonna go into the medical professions, maybe uh, the legal law professions or some other really highly skilled profession where you're gonna have a really big earning potential, that's probably a good return on your investment. Number five, visualize your future life. You ought to have a vision of what you would like your life to look like so that you can pursue that every single day. If you want to be Kim Kardashian rich, follow these five steps.